Whether you are a mashed potato, a baked potato, or even a scalloped potato, lend us your spuds. As we try pure, puree, pura, pura, gummies, gummies, <laughs> and some love key. It, this, um, the, the love key is a, um... They missed Valentine's Day. Yeah, it was a promotional product for Valentine's Day, but it's still good because candy never expires. That is true. Someone yeah. gave me a box of these, and I don't know, man, I don't know. So, it, it's strawberry pocky. With the strawberry that, stick. With, with the strawberry stick, which is in the shape of a little heart. Ah, so. yes. And what better way to try Valentine's candy than with three of us? In October. <laughs> in October. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, and so, uh, Angry Fox, which uh, con are you going to be at in peddling these lovely wares? We are premiering these products at Subasa Con in Huntington, West Virginia this weekend. Well, I should say that we are premiering two of these products because the Valentine's Day Pocky. Um, I got it back in like March or something and I lost it. <laughs> This happens. So it is not expired yet, so Stay good. I just misplaced it. Someone gave it to me and I'm like, I'm gonna make them try it on video because it'll be funny. <laughs> okay. And now we're trying it on video, video and it's very funny. So Alright. All right. Shall we? Let's do the thing. Which one do we want to start with here? Um from experience, uh you the, this and this are both sour, or they're supposed to be sour. <laughs> okay, All right. so... So you may want to do the sweet one first. Yeah, that may be it, so... So, open up your mouth and put some love key in it. In front of everybody? <laughs> On camera! So the entire net. <laughs> Watch and critique. Can I, I... I have to make a request now that i thought about this. Yes. Uh, they just look like the, the normal strawberries and cream one. But they're completely different. On guard. <laughs> Alright. Alright, trying this again. We all have our Pocky. Oh, weird. Right. Oh, mine is, is split funny, like, like you know how chopsticks are perforated and you can, mm -hmm. like, break it apart? And, like, that's, mine is breaking like chopsticks. Huh. <laughs> so it must be the heart's got a little deep uh, on that one. Alright. All right. So. Doing the thing. Alright. Yay! It tastes like strawberry. It tastes like strawberry. Yep. So if you like strawberry stuff and, or you know, artificial strawberry flavoring, mm. um, nope. This is definitely the way to go. This one is worse than the regular strawberries and cream. Like I don't like that one very much because I don't like fake strawberry, but like, this is really fake strawberry. Hmm. Well, this is actual strawberry powder in it. <laughs> so this is not just fake strawberry, this is actual strawberry. It turns out all along, Angry Fox Lady only thought she didn't like artificial strawberry. <laughs> They're just going to sit here and keep eating and I'm done. I've mm. had enough. Um, I'm trying to think, does the, the heart-shaped stick do anything for or... It does, I think, contribute to... Because of that, the I think when they dip it, lumps in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say when they dip it, there's this channel to get extra frosting yeah. and stuff. So you get a little more frosting than normal with these. Mm -hmm. That's really sugary, really sweet. I, I know it's candy, but like it's really mm. sugary. It's really sweet. Mm. Alright. Next item. All right, so, so we go from sweet so with to that one, I, the, the, goofiness of the box gets to me too. The fact that it's love key, it's not even... Yeah. So, and there is a space for messages on the back if you're going to give this to a special someone. someone that or someones. Someone that you don't like that much. <laughs> or what, what's that What's that old red green quote? You can give them to, to your wife or girlfriend or that very special woman in your life. Or all three. <laughs> Fox Mage having zero of those. So if, you're, so, if you're interested, yeah, so this could all be yours. Leave us a message below and uh, we'll see. I can just hear the comments rolling in now. <laughs> Operators are standing by. It's really just me. 
He is standing by. <laughs> help me. <laughs> there is no help for you. All right, so where is your dad <laughs> now? <laughs> Find a new god. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to assume this is great because it is. It because is it's still purple. <laughs> so, th those don't look like normal grapes because those are way too perfect. Let's see. So, those, those are they're, they're, really round grapes. These are synthetic grapes that have been developed <laughs> in a lab. <laughs> they, they look like purple marbles. They they're do. like a blueberry, yeah. yeah. Like a very photoshopped blueberry. I, I initially thought that was like, what, what is it? A kind of, uh, what, what's the like. Little berry, like uh, berry. A Thai berry? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I usually thought that it had to be like that or something. All right, break it in. All right. So. All right. This does come in a resealable package for yeah. those who uh, that matters. And it definitely, it smells like grape juice. It so. smells like, actually, no, it smells like that grape soda that every child has had. <laughs> That's grape crush with sour. <laughs> <laughs> that is straight up grape crush mm. with sour powder on it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It's not overpoweringly sour, but it has mm. a little bit of sourness there. This is like those Kasugai gummies and the Sour Patch Kids got together and had a bastard food child. I can see that. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if you like um, stuff that's a little sour, um, yeah, those are pretty good. Yeah, they're good. So. It's grape. Mm -hmm. I'm not normally into grape things, but those are actually good. I like those. All right, and the last one, these are definitely lemon. So. Of course, so we think. Lemon. <laughs> yeah. So, not as, uh, not as much of a... Mm -hmm. Senses uh, the grape ones. Yep. Lemon pledge. <laughs> yep, lemon pledge. <laughs> no, it's actually good. Mm -hmm. Lemon, sour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so it's yeah. uneventful. <laughs> think like, uh, think like. Um, Yellow Starburst dipped in the material, or dipped in the, like, sour stuff that, um, the Fun sour dip. gunny worms have. Yeah. Yeah, that's, pr that's pretty close right there, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, if you like the, uh, if you like the yellow Starburst and thought, you know, this would be great sour, so. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> and, you. and if you can find them, um, we actually used to sell these pure, puree, pure, pure, oh, so. pure something, um, they come in other flavors. We used to sell peach and strawberry, which were both excellent. And they were on and off the market a couple of times. And these were introduced as, as the new flavors. And I'm like, must get, must get now. Check those out. Uh, if you're not in Huntington, uh, West Virginia this weekend, uh, any other upcoming events? Anime Fusion in Bloomington, Minnesota. And the same week... Um, ValleyCon in Fargo, North Dakota will ha have all of this stuff. Um, the Angry Fox Lady will not really be at either one because my little sister is getting married. So congratulations, Angry Fox Lady's little sister. Yay. And, and the dude she's marrying. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Don't even know his name. Are you two? We're going to call him Carl in all future videos. So okay. congratulations, Angry Sister and, and Carl. Carl. Um, to <laughs> Best wishes for your future. That's canon now. Nobody forget. <laughs> Carl is more interesting. You know, his real name is, is really weird. Mm. <laughs> his real name is Carl. So there you have it. Um, three fun products from Angry Fox. And two of them available for sale. Uh, as for that Valentine's Day Pocky, or Love Key, um, <laughs> I'm sure we'll see it around you know February next year. This one doesn't expire until the end of the month. It's still okay. I didn't feature expired food again. <laughs> the last time it wasn't bad either. No. So, but except for that, the wine. Okay. The the, wine. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, I don't think it being expired had anything to do with that. Okay. So Ramune wine though does not age well in the bottle. 
So if you've been, if you got your hands on some and you've been saving in your wine cellar for the last like five years, to you drink. might want to just go ahead and just free up that space. <laughs> Pull it out, put it in fancy glasses, drink it with your body pillow. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for coming, and we'll see you guys next time. See you guys. Bye. <laughs> you didn't do the pre-reading. <laughs> We're keeping that awkward silence, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is why we have editing now. Um, shit. It's literally going to go from, where are you going to be peddling these lovely wares to, I'm going to be at this <laughs> Let's all completely change the way we're sitting so it's really obvious. <laughs> I will be... God damn it. <laughs> we do have those drinks still available. It's not all millet based. <laughs> oh, that was awful. The millet beer is the worst thing I've ever had. To those people gluten intolerant and in need of that, we are sorry. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> all right. Well, I, I assume I have something in here we can use. Have fun <laughs> with that. Videos where I show up get the most editing. So sometime when we're like for April Fools, when we spend a lot of time preparing it, we need to do a video, it, just like one of our normal like you know food tasting or whatever. But you need to do it like um, um, like Quentin Tarantino style, so it's all like cut together out of order and everything. <laughs> I think that'd be hilarious. Have you heard the story about bootleg like, wrestling? No. no. So. Okay, like, ramen pretty much just translates to soda, okay? Mm -hmm. But, like, there's also a ramen brand. Yeah. So it's, like, down south when you're like, hey, what do you what want? What kind of Coke? What kind of want? Coke do you want? Do you want Sprite flavored? Mm -hmm. And you just kind of, the rest of us northerners just kind of cringe, but it's like that. Mm -hmm. And I had the, I think it's, I think it, the company is Kaimura, and they make the, the, like, the colored ones, the ones with the artificial sweetener in them, so they mm. dye them stupid colors. Like, you, I think you've drank them before. Hmm. And I had them at my booth, and people came up and they're like, "You're selling knockoff ramen? Eh? What?" <laughs> and then they tried to get me in trouble for selling bootleg food. Hmm. And it was literally the stupidest moment of my life. Hmm. Because I sat there with like the con staff and I, I legitimately just stood there with this look on my face like, are you, what are you even fucking doing mm. in this moment?